Go to most any plastic surgeon's website and you'll see plenty of these. They're before and after photos of real patients. For the doctors and potential clients, this is all the proof needed to show that under the steady hand of a qualified plastic surgeon, the results can be dramatic. What normal person would ever go on a website and see before and afters and think, well, this doctor really didn't do that. He stole those from some other doctor. Dr. Simeon Wall is a board-certified plastic surgeon in Shreveport, Louisiana. He was floored when he saw photos of his own patients on someone else's site. I was doing a search on the internet, just looking up some, uh, some items and happened across some of my own before and afters and so I clicked on these and they were not on my website. They were actually on another doctor's website being shown as his before and afters. This was the fourth time in 10 years that someone else was taking credit for his work. It makes you feel pretty bad. I've been you know, pretty upset about it. it it's, uh, it's really like having something else taken from you. Doctors taking credit for someone else's work raises serious questions, says Jacksonville, Florida plastic surgeon Paul Socha. Within our society, there are issues and potential um, penalties if a physician produces or uses other people's photographs to represent their before and after photographs. That's not permissible within our ethics. Watermarks and new technology can make it more difficult to lift a photo from the website, but Dr. Socia says there are no guarantees. Once they leave um, our premises, if you will, um, all bets are off, and that's sort of the era that we live in, as we all know, with things on YouTube, et cetera, and so on, that once digital media escapes your possession, it's very hard to control where it disseminates. As for Dr. Wall, he's fighting back using the legal system, and it's not his own skin he's trying to save. It's basically fishing to the public, saying here, you know, I've made these results, come on in, I'll give you these same results. It's yet another reminder to patients to ask questions and don't always believe what you see. Carolyn Grimes, The Plastic Surgery Channel.